Hello again everybody in this video uh, Let's play Dwarf Fortress In this video I'll be explaining how the military works What you have to do is uh, you have to create a squa uh, squad You do that by pressing M to go to the military screen And then pressing C to create a squad You can choose the uniform that they have to wear they will try to find the appropriate items if they cannot find these items then they will just use a lower quality item so for example if you choose metal armor but they can't find any then they will use leather armor instead however as soon as metal armor becomes available they will change equipment so I will choose metal armor for this squad you know what I don't like the name so I'm going to disband and create a new one that's better so now we will have to fill the positions they are uh, all available or vacant so let's choose some dwarves to be in the military I think I will choose this one he's a fishery worker not very useful and he has also some weapon skills although I'll make him an axe dwarf and not a maze dwarf but that doesn't really matter for now I'll just have one unit in my military. It's still early in the game and I don't need more at the moment. Now that I've created my first squad, I have to go to the squads uh, screen by pressing S. I select my squad. Now I can choose to move them around or to um, make them active or inactive. Squats are inactive uh, by default, so in order to activate them, you have to press D. So now it's now he's actually real military, active military. Let's see what happens. He's still uh, doing one job. Now he has become the military commander but he doesn't have any activity yet so we still have to create a barracks to do that uh, you need to build a bed or a armor stand and weapon rank one more thing that I can show you is the hospital the hospital is also an activity zone that you create by pressing I and then after creating the zone you press H to turn it into a hospital you should also put a few containers and cabinets in the hospital you can also put a traction bench in there I'm going to build a cabinet in my hospital My dwarves will then move some things like soap and clothes and other things to care for the wounded dwarves into my hospital once there is a cabinet available. Let's see what our military commander is doing. Apparently nothing. Let's see what he's what weapon he is carrying. He's wearing a copper axe. copper battle axe as well as some well it doesn't even have leather armor I didn't make any yet now that I have my military squad I can start moving him around these are some of the underground caverns that I've discovered recently I'm going to select my squad and I'm going to tell him to move Now we're going to wait a few moments until he arrives. Now I can use my squad to discover these caverns and to uncover a large part of the map. This will be useful later on to plan my next mining shaft. My ultimate goal is to go all the way to the bottom and have one uh, shaft so I can drop items 
all the way down but in order to do that I first have to uh, find out the layout of the caverns so there it is and now I can uh, keep moving around a lot of blood so he's not wounded so it's not his blood that's a good thing it's the cave crocodiles blood So it looks like my untrained and unarmed commander is doing a good job killing these crocodiles. That's a good thing. So as you can see it's really easy to move around with your military. Oh that's a spider. Let's see if he can survive a spider. No. He was thieving my fortress. Normally I would use my military to attack the thief, but it's right now my military is occupied. I'm going to build a few cage traps behind my doors. If any of these thieves uh, manage to come inside, they will hopefully be caught in these cage traps. It's a useful first line of defense against these kind of annoying attacks. Now, once you have a, a squad, you have to you can build a barracks but in order to do that you have to first build an armor stand it should be ready so let's build an armor stand and a weapon stand So let's see how my commander is doing. He's paralyzed, exhaust and winded. He's dead. The cave spider is not injured. So it looks like my uh, un un unarmored military commander has finally found um, something he can defeat. And that's good because you know a, a copper battle axe is like the weakest weapon in the game, and he didn't have any armor on. So, but that's fine. I'll just have to uh, build a memorial slab once he dies, because I won't be able to get his corpse out of there. It would probably be a good idea to lock the door on this cavern until I have a better military. So uh, this will be all uh, for this video. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.